everyone, please welcome to the stage from Infinity Ward, Robert Bowling, and from Sledgehammer Games, Michael Condry. Everybody, so great to be here to finally share Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer details. We think we have the deepest experience that we have ever created, and we can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. To start with, we have made some of the most profound additions and changes to the core multiplayer gameplay in Modern Warfare 3 than any other chapter in Modern Warfare. We are giving the players, you guys, more choices in supporting a larger variety of playstyles than ever before. This is the most balanced multiplayer experience we have ever done. And this is what we mean. Modern Warfare 2, there was a huge difference in experience between the expert player and the newcomer. For a 40 kill, 5 death kind of guy like Robert Bowling here, it was a ton of fun, right? Kicking ass, taking names. But for the newcomer, he spent a lot of his time getting his ass handed to him by 402's kill streaks every two seconds. So for the experienced guy, Modern Warfare 3 is better, more strategic than ever. And we made the game more fun for the newcomers. It's all about refocusing on that gun-on-gun -gun gameplay, the close quarter battles that's a signature for our series. That's what balance is all about to us. So we've taken that philosophy and we're applying it to the weapons, the classes, the kill streaks, the map layout, the speed of movement of the player, the perks. Every element of the game has gotten more balanced. It means no one-man army, no game-ending nukes, yeah. no shotguns and secondaries, definitely no... Yeah. Definitely, definitely no commando perks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No last stands. Yeah. Fuck you, last stand. We have, we have an awesome dialogue with you guys, our fans, and your feedback has helped take what we're doing and make it even better. For example, we've taken your feedback and completely revamped the killstreak system into what we're calling strike packages. So killstreaks were a great addition to Modern Warfare 1. Using your feedback, we've gone back to the drawing board and we looked at how killstreaks were being used across a variety of game types. And when we looked at objective modes like capture the flag, s and domination, where the best players focused on actually accomplishing their team's objectives instead of just getting kills, it became very clear that the killstreak system was optimized for only one game type, and that was team deathmatch. So we've expanded the kill streak concept into the new point streak system. Now, it means something completely different. It's not just about kills anymore. You get points for objectives, you get points for every two assists with Hardline Pro, all leading up to your next point streak reward, which you can now customize in one of three strike packages to match your play style. So assault, support, and specialist. You still select which point streak rewards are best for you, but each strike package has a unique set of kill streaks that we think will fundamentally change the way that you're playing Call of Duty for the better. Yeah, and here's how they work. For those of you who love big body counts in Modern Warfare 2, the Assault Strike package is still for you. This is the familiar kill streak system that you know and love, but with more player-driven kill streaks like the Assault Drone and the Osprey Gunner. Our sport strike package works differently. For an aggressive playstyle guy like me, I love support strike package. This kill streak rewards players for helping the team win, not just for upping your body kill. Nice. With this package, you activate things like the SAM turret to shoot down enemy aircraft, the ability to fly a RC recon drone to spot the opposing team, even call in a recon juggernaut. And on top of that, your kill streak does not reset when you die. This lets you keep focused on moving your team closer to victory, right, by capturing dom points or protecting the flag runner. And if you happen to take a few frags to the face along the way, bound to happen, you're not getting penalized because you're helping the team. The third and final option is the specialist strike package. So here your point streak rewards actually come in the form of perks. So right now your maximum number of perks is three. Well, what's better than three perks? Four perks. What's better than four perks? Five. What's better than five perks? Six. <laughs> so after your eighth kill, you actually unlock and activate every perk available. But if you die, 
If you die, your kill streak resets and you're starting all over again. And this also comes at a cost because this is where the balancing comes into play. Unlike the other two strike packages, this soldier rolls alone. So you're not calling it airstrikes. You have no tactical support for your team. We think this is the greatest test of individual skill ever in a Modern Warfare game. Yeah, right? Come on, give up for that. <laughs> yeah, and in, in addition to strike packages, another big uh, modification, this one is weapon proficiency. Brand new to Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. Weapon proficiency lets you level up your weapon of choice the same way you level up. What this means is the more you use a weapon you like, you not only get better through practice with that weapon, but the weapon get itself gets better, and you decide how. Do you want to reduce sway? Fuck yes. Earn the stability <laughs> proficiency. Uh, want to uh, reduce recoil? Earn the kick proficiency. Want two attachments? Earn them. This really allows you to hone your skills based off of your weapon of choice, and you get rewarded for specializing. Yeah. We want to give players more choices than they've ever had on how you experience the game. So we've added a massive list of private match options, like restricting class loadout, restricting uh, weapon loadouts individually. But for the first time ever, we let you mix and match them to create your own user-generated game modes. And because we can sync with Call of Duty Elite, you can now post your game modes, share them with friends, have them play them, rate them, comment on them, they can retweak them themselves, post them back up, and share them with you. We also have an entirely new multiplayer mode that we're extremely excited about called Kill Confirmed. In Kill Confirmed, when you put a guy down, he's going to drop dog tags. Now, the only way to extend your team's points is to run over, pick up his dog tags, and confirm the kill. Now, if your buddy gets shot, you can run over and get his dog tags before your opponent does and deny the kill. So anyone on the other team who sees floating dog tags probably knows you're going to be going for them. So it adds an entirely new level of strategy to the game. Kill Confirm completely changes the team deathmatch mentality. It's just as important to confirm the kill as it is to get the kill. Kill Confirm is nothing short of brilliant. And there's so much more to this game. It's bigger and it's better than ever. And that's why you're here for the next two days to experience it all for yourself. We have, uh, we've made tons of improvements, we've added tons of innovations, we have things like the Prestige Shop, that lets you choose how you're being rewarded for prestiging, a universal player card with all of your Call of Duty career status, uh, as well as an in-game loyalty rewards for every Call of Duty going back to Call of Duty 4, including World of War, Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops. There's also dual scopes in multiplayer, a brand new multiplayer mode called Team Defender, 16 multiplayer maps on the disc. Every single one of them is going to be playable in Spec Ops Survival Mode. 28 different kinds of point streak rewards and so much more. I cannot wait for you guys to go get your hands on it. Now our teams at Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games have been working side by side with the Call of Duty Elite team at Beachhead Studios to help you guys, Call of Duty fans, play together better. And the one thing you've all told us makes every game better, every feature better, is playing with friends. Well, where are your friends at every day? Stalking you on Facebook. So we've taken and, and took all your Facebook friends and I brought them directly into the game. So now you'll be able to see when your friends are online, compare against them on the leaderboards, and easily invite them into the game. But Facebook integration wasn't enough. We wanted to take it even further. So with Call of Duty Elite, players will be able to not only play with the friends they have, but find new ones. So say you're in the basketball and you want to play with other Laker fans. Easy, just join the Lakers group and you're going to see all those members show up in game. Want to play with old friends from high school, people who live in your neighborhood? Easy, just join the group. You can connect through just about any interest. Sports, like Barcelona fans, Manchester United, Politics, like Democrats, Republicans. Music fans, like Dropkick Murphy fans, like me. Yes. Or Kanye West fans, like Conjury here. You'll see it whenever members of your group are in the game with you. You can also join groups based off of similar play styles. On Black Ops Beta right now, there's a, already a group called Campers. We know who you are. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. He's hey. 
<laughs> He's hanging his head in shame. <laughs> or amazing. snipers or running gunners. You can join that group and you can meet up with them in the game. It takes the anonymous network of Call of Duty multiplayer and makes it a real community. In addition, clans have been a big focus for both Modern Warfare 3 and the Elite teams. You can create your own private clan. Nice. You can invite friends to join your clan. You can talk to each other. You can share your schedule. You can have a message of the day for your clan. You'll be able to see which of your clanmates are online or offline. You can invite everyone into a match. Now, none of this has been in the Black Ops beta. But because Elite has been developed with Modern Warfare 3, you'll be able to do this from the web, from your mobile apps, and most importantly, from inside the game itself for the first time this November with Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. And, keep nice. and keep in mind, all these Elite features are on top of the ones you already know about, like personal and clan leaderboards, stat tracking in the thousands, weapon analysis, 30-second HD video uploads, high-res maps and real-time heat maps, screenshot sharing, weapon and perk strategies, and so much more. But let's go deeper into what you can actually do with Elite on the console app. In the Black Ops beta, players already saw how Elite lets you go deeper into your stats and performance, your weapon loadouts, comparisons with other players, all through the web interface. But in Modern Warfare 3, you're going to be able to do all of that on the console itself. But this isn't just a stat side on your TV. This is the full feature set of Call of Duty Elite designed specifically for your console and controller. And that same holds true for the mobile apps. There are specific apps being designed by the team for the iPhone, the iPad, and the Android devices. These are the deep, rich features of Call of Duty Elite designed specifically for these devices. So let's say you got owned last night in multiplayer. That's not possible. So you take a look at the heat map. You take a look at the loadout of the player who's owning you. Yeah? Or you watch a training video. You realize you want to change your loadout based off of everything you've learned in Elite. Or you just want to try the loadout of your rival. You're welcome. Well, a couple, you want to try my loadout? I don't. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, a couple of clicks, a couple of swipes, and your new loadout will be waiting for you in the game when you get home. How cool is that, right? So imagine, this could be on your train ride home, sitting in the airport, wherever. It's bringing you closer to Call of Duty anytime, anywhere. And the teams are really excited about how Elite will add to your gameplay experience right inside the console. We think it's going to help everyone play better. It's social with groups and clans. It comes to life on mobile devices and the web. And to be clear, everything we've talked about so far syncs directly with the game straight out of the box. Yeah. Thank you. So with all that, we'll hand it back to Eric. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.